Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a watermark to a PDF for free. It's really quite simple to do with a free online tool. Now here on my desktop, I do have a PDF document. It's a 10 page PDF document. You can see that there aren't any watermarks on it. And this is what we're gonna be adding the watermark to today, just some animals here. Now we'll go ahead and open up our browser and the website we're gonna be using today is called ilovepdf.com. You can go ahead and do a Google search for that or punch it into your browser. I'll also have it linked below in the description. Now, once you've got this loaded up, there's a whole bunch of free PDF tools that you can use. And here on the main screen, we are looking for the watermark feature right here. So you can go ahead and search for that. And when you find it, just go ahead and left click on it. And it's gonna load up to where we can upload our PDF. Now there's a few different ways to do this. You can upload it from Google Drive, you can upload it from Dropbox, or you can select or drag and drop it here from your computer. So we could just drag that file in here, or we can select this and then search our computer for that document. And there it is right there. I'll go ahead and select it and hit open. And it's going to upload that PDF right here into ilovepdf.com. So from here off to the right, you can see there's watermark options and we can place text or we can place an image as our watermark. So we'll come back to text in a moment. We'll start out with placing an image and in here we can select an image. So add an image right here. We'll left click on that. And this will allow us to search our computer for an image. Maybe I'll select this flag and then we'll hit open and it will upload that flag here into ilovepdf.com. We can also select the location of the watermark so we can move it around. You can see the little dots moving. So that would be the location. Or we can select mosaic here, which will pull it, put it all over our document. I'll do that. We can select transparency. So no transparency would be really dark all the way down to 25%. We can select a rotation if we wanna rotate it. And we can select the pages, so from and to. So maybe we only want the watermark from pages five to 10, we could easily adjust that there. We can also adjust the layer. So whether we want the watermark over our images or below, um, so you can select which one you like there. Now jumping back over to the text side here at the top right, we can adjust the text. So if we want text over our image, maybe I just want this to say sample, we can type that in. We can adjust the font here as well as the size as well as if we wanted bold, underlined, etc. Again, we can adjust if we want it as a mosaic or just in specific locations around our document. I'll leave that on mosaic. Again, the transparency, the rotation, and the page numbers. So I'm gonna, again, do the 25% transparency and I'll do it over the content like that. And once we've got it just the way we like it, we can go ahead and hit add watermark here in the bottom right hand corner. It's gonna create the PDF document for us. Now we can go ahead and save this to Google Drive. We can share it with a link. It'll download it automatically for us, or we can save it to Dropbox, or we can go ahead and hit delete it now. This will delete the PDF file from the website. And if it didn't download automatically like mine did, you can go ahead and click download PDF with watermark right here and it should download for you. Let's copy that over to my desktop here and we'll have a quick look at it. And now we've got our 10 page document with the sample written all over it as a watermark. It's really that simple to do all the way down to page 10. So I hope this quick tutorial gave you value. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.